I would love to hear kind of what has been some of your biggest breakthroughs as you've journeyed through, you know, over three and a half years in our council. Just being a part of this council has felt like um, such a safe space over and over and over during its changes, during its um, comings and goings, during the rhythms of my highs and my lows and my celebrations and my struggles, this is consistently safe. And on what that's allowing me to sit in outwardly and take in is helping me to bring that more close inwardly. Um, so as I'm changing, as I'm going up through my ups and downs, I can learn how to be my own safe container too, and trust in that. That has been my breakthrough that I keep bumping into over and over and over again, that I can trust in myself, that I am safe um, in my most uncomfortable feelings and in my I mean, it's just funny. It's funny how uncomfortable feelings can be my pure happiness. Mm -hmm. And I still can struggle with shaming, finding shame and being happy because it might make somebody feel unhappy or finding shame and feeling sad because I feel like I'm not behaving grateful enough. And just that back and forth. And the container has continued to be like a no shame allowed almost like every part of you is welcome here the angry the sad the braggy the judgy the victim the everything and it keeps on allowing me and reminding me to keep saying yes to myself Mm -hmm. and just um yes i am allowed here yes i can be here yes this feels ugly and uncomfortable but I'm safe. And yeah, just that over and over is it still is rewiring something in me. And it's just the container has been a mirror reflection of um, what aligns with like what where I want to be and continue to grow into. And, and also allows me like, hey, I'm also perfectly where I'm supposed to be Mm -hmm. um, in this process. So it's just really been beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just breakthrough after breakthrough. Every single time, (laughs) every (laughs) single time I show up, I'm like, okay, I didn't want to come because I felt ugly tonight and I'm glad I did (laughs) because now I feel beautiful in my ugliness. (laughs) 